So you need to simulate noise figure and generate noise circles in ADS. Let's go over exactly how we do that today. So maybe you've got some sort of textbook problem where you're given a set of S parameters and you're given the noise parameters, or perhaps you have an S parameter touch tone file and within that file, they already have the noise parameters baked in. We're gonna go over how to actually generate this file and what these individual parameters mean here in addition to simulating it and generating those noise figure circles in ADS. So let's go ahead and get started. So in this noise parameters touch tone file, I already kind of have that textbook problem filled in, but essentially all it is, it's very simple, is this top part is what defines our format for our S parameters. If you're wondering about the file format, for these S parameter files, I have a video linked in the description below where I go over everything you need to know about touch tone files. But what we're gonna look at here is this line here and specifically these comments above it. So right here I've defined noise parameters and kind of given us a template so that we can understand what goes into each one of these numbers that we see here. So we go over back to that textbook problem. We see that it gives us F min, gamma op, and little rn. So this little rn signifies a normalized value. And what's important to keep in mind here is in the S parameter format, we always have to supply a normalized resistance. The rest of these parameters are pretty straightforward. The first one is just frequency, and it's in the format that you specify up here. And the next one is noise figure in dB. The next one is this gamma opt that we see here, uh, magnitude angle format. So this first one is magnitude, the second one is angle. And this last one is the normalized resistance that we see here, noise resistance that we see here. And so just make sure that you are normalizing this resistance with Rn to what is defined up in this header up here. All right, great. So now let's go into ADS and get everything set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and place some term Gs. Next, we're gonna put on an S2P file. Remember with S2P files, you always have to manually place the ground. Don't forget that. And so I've loaded this noise parameter file that we generated here into this S parameter block. So let's go ahead and connect everything up and place an S parameter simulation block. And let's see what frequency did we define? Four gigahertz. So let's set that to a single frequency at four gigahertz. Now this is the most important thing that you guys have to remember when you're simulating noise parameters, is you have to go up here and click on noise, and then check this box right here that says calculate noise, and then click apply. You can leave all these other settings as default, but if you don't check this box, you're not gonna be able to simulate any of your noise parameters. All right, so let's go ahead and simulate it. Great, all right, let's bring out the S parameters to make sure that we've typed them in correctly. And then now if you wanna check also your noise parameters, you can put another one of these down. And what we're gonna to wanna to put down here is an F min, an F2, RN, and S opt. And so it'll bring up a chart here. So what is each one of these? Well, so NF min is the minimum noise figure that you specified in your file. RN is now the unnormalized noise resistance that you specified. S opt is that gamma opt that we saw in the textbook. And then what is this NF2? Well, basically what this NF2 is, is just what the noise figure is currently of your system. So NF min is only under certain match conditions to this gamma opt. And so we don't really have any sort of matching network at all here. It's just straight lines to this transistor. So that's why we're seeing a little bit more noise is because we don't have any sort of matching network to present this reflection coefficient to our transistor. So if we wanted to see this NF min match up with NF2, we're gonna have to create a matching network. And I'm gonna go ahead and make another video on low noise amplifier design in a little bit. But for this, this video, let's just simulate the noise figure parameters and get everything working. So I'm talking about noise circles. How do we get that in there? All we have to do to get these noise figure circles in there is to just go up here and type an S circle and bring out down this module. Okay, so what is each one of these? The only thing that you need to change 
is where it says NF2, just set exactly what you want to see. So let's generate, uh, if you put brackets here, that allows you to generate more than one circle with uh, each one of these blocks. So let's generate a noise figure circle at NF min. Let's do one then at 4 dB, 5 dB, 6 dB, and 7 dB. So now let's go ahead and simulate this again. Ah, and if you get this warning about uh, global circuit temperature, to fix that, all you have to do is go drop an options block and then change this temperature to 16.85. And that will stop that, that warning from coming up. Okay, so now to see our noise figure circles, all we have to do is come over here and drop a Smith chart and we want to select NS circle. And as we can see here, boom, we have our noise figure circle. Let's go ahead and drop a marker and we can tell which circle it is based on these markers. So we see this little tiny one is NF min, which is basically a point, which is exactly what we would expect. And this point right here on the Smith chart, 0.45 angle minus 150, matches up exactly with our gamma opt right over here. So it's exactly what we are expecting to see. So with that, everyone, that's all there is to it. That's how you simulate noise figure and generate noise circles in ADS. Thank you everyone for watching. Do good work and we'll see you next time.